Greetings YouTube land and welcome back to another house mod showcase video. Kind of, um, you know, I'm not doing them as much. I was going to say kind of been a while, but it really wasn't that long. If you include, of course, you know, Varden Camo, uh, which I did maybe about a week ago. Um, but I would always usually put out maybe like three mods a week or something, right? Um, but it feels like it's been a longer time. Uh, this is a really special one because, guys, this is an advanced look at a uh, pirate ship mod, and you can see the icon right there on the uh, compass, and it's called Sea Dragon. And it is a um, pirate ship house mod uh, created by the very, very exemplary, exemplary talented um Dovakina Thay, my very good friend Thay here, uh, not only on Nexus Mod, but uh, we're all part of the Adventurers Guild, which we have about 30, 30 plus members. If you're interested in joining, go ahead and uh, check out my About tab or in my banner on the, uh, I think on the lower right corner of my banner, you'll see a link uh, to the Adventurers Guild. Just uh, request an invite and, um, you know, and then one of us, one of the administrators will uh, accept you in. Um, so as you can see, this place uh, is really close by to the Kinky Princess, but we're not going to take a look at that place. We're going to go over here and we're going to check this out. So let's go ahead. I'm using, of course, my beautiful um, Malora, but I think I will change what she's wearing and give her... Here we go. Okay. She'll be using this, this bikini robe, okay? Oh, wow, yeah, it's really nice. Okay, anyways, let's go. Oh, this is so great that it's just right behind the kinky princess. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. I'm glad it doesn't conflict with uh, the kinky princess. How fitting is that, that there's a strip joint? Uh behind a pirate ship you know it, it docks here and all the pirates can get off and then go into there so this is great i wonder if this place actually moves you know so um again it's called sea dragon uh created by dova kinathe i'm going to leave the link to her mod uh, down in the description box below so be sure to endorse her uh, it's not available uh, yet uh, because I'm taking an advanced uh, tour of the place but um, you know once it becomes available uh, you'll know where to look okay so it just it requires a key so I just have to track down that key Okay, maybe what I have to do, check like, yeah, I don't know where the key would be. Well, let's look around a little bit more first. Maybe it will reveal itself. Oh! This ship moves, guys. Did you see that? So we can go to Solitude, which I think we're there already. Uh, Windhelm, Dawnstar, and Wilderness. So it would be somewhere in the wilderness, which we don't know where that is yet. I, I just I want to try to find the key first. Maybe it's going to be in one of these barrels, right? I know in um, her uh, a Varden oh, Vanfeld Cottage, she left the key in the, um, or rather the mother, if you read the letter, left the key 
in the um, in the apiary. So that's why it made me think that you know the key might be somewhere inside of something. Oh, oh, I fell through. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, hold on, I have to get out of there. Okay. Oh, what was this? Use fairy seat? Oh, hey. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so the other way that I can think about uh, getting the key is um, Sea Dragon is just doing this. fell into this thing. Okay. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay. Um, so... It's working now. I had to uh, get the key right now uh, using this to search. So I should have the key, the sea dragon key, and I do. And uh, before I proceed, oh, geez, okay. <clears throat> uh, they uh, wrote a little uh, message to me about this place. She wrote, um, few things you should know um, okay uh, you can hire up to 12 followers or friends to be part of your crew uh, they will interact with the ship inside and outside you can use them to make a few changes at the ship like changing some of the guest rooms into children's rooms uh, and ask them to move the ship really uh, the ship does travel, uh, which we assumed because uh, when I clicked on the wheel. Um, the ship does travel, and you can do that either using the wheel outside or asking someone of your crew to move the ship when inside it. That will move, or that will make you go outside at the location you choose your followers to move the ship without having to fast travel and waste time. I did that so you can keep doing your stuff inside as if you were traveling to the location you choose. Oh, I like that. There's options to travel to Solstein, Raven Rock, Skull Village, and Tel Mithrin that will unlock when you complete the quest to visit Solstein to start Dragonborn DLC. You can invite five guests. You can send three NPCs to be imprisoned at the ship. <laughs> I like that. Your family can live there if you use the Hearthfire Multiple Adoptions mod, but to be able to use the Bless This Home spell, which I have, uh, you need to ask one of your crew to turn one of the guest rooms into children's and then use the Bless Your Home spell. Okay. For good measure, use the spell when the ship is located at Solitude. Okay, got it? Ah, and if your ship is located at one spot, uh, you and you need it to be located at another you can ask any potential follower to send a message to your crew to move your ship to another city uh, and there are 
place for tons of special items. Okay. And I think she wrote down something else. Oh, fast travel to the ship at Salatu Dock. There's an icon to travel there. Okay. <clears throat> Looking at the steps to access the ship. Look at the left beside the fishing rod. There's a burial urn underwater. The key is inside. Okay. So, <clears throat> look at the steps to access the ship. Uh, look at the left beside the fishing rods. There's a burial urn underwater. Okay. There's the fishing rods. And there's a burial urn somewhere down here. I think I see it. So here's where the, okay, so there's where the key is. Well, okay. So I love it, you know. I, I should have been a little bit more thorough when looking for the key, right? Uh, so, yeah, my fault. Um, in any case, okay, let us go ahead and check this out. Should we go in here first? Okay, let's go in here first. Wow. Oh my god. Pirate music. You know, I have to say, Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favorite films. I would say the best in the franchise is the first one and Dead Men Tell No Tales. Although I do like them all, I think those two are the most standout ones. I've heard stories of a Spanish captain said to have slaughtered over 300 men. No, men? No. No, 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 no. Pirates. Right, Javier by them. Uh, we have a bookshelf. Very cool. We have some weapon and shield plaques and racks. Okay, a couple of display cases, a couple of benches to sit upon here, and a nice little uh, low table with food. Okay, little dining area, a door, a couple more display cases. So we have a couple of uh, book uh, bookcases on each side of the door here, the entrance. A uh, large trophy base, okay, and there's one on that side as well. Okay, stairs that go down, does this lead to the same? Okay, that all leads to the same uh, place down here. Wow. Thay, you have most certainly outdone yourself this time, you know? Wow, this... Whew. I'm getting chills right now just looking at this. The fact that... The fact that it's a pirate ship... The fact that it can move, you know, to different locations, uh, it just makes it all the more grander. Beautiful dining table here. Triple chandeliers. Oh, I love it. Okay. These are not bookshelves. These are just, uh, or bookcases. They're just cases to put uh, drinks and stuff upon. Oh, my God. Looks like my brother's uh, food that he ordered for us, oxtail, has come in. Wow. Okay. We have a room. Okay, it looks like I stripped, right? Um, watch this. If I was to do something like this... Where is it? And turn this off. Yeah, you see? Okay, but we'll go ahead and turn that back off.
That's really cool. Okay, so see, it strips, you know, when you go take a bath. So, really nice touch. That's what I was wearing. Am I encumbered still? I am. What is that? Oh, because it took off my backpack. Okay. Uh, where's the backpack I was using? There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's like, like a sink, and you can boil the water. The water will be warm. Oh, yeah. Some books here. It looks like it would be a spell book, but it's not. Okay, a couple of potions. I wonder if this is the master bedroom. A couple of wardrobes. Oops. All right, all right. I'm stuck a little bit. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, okay, okay. Um, I don't know if then that was the master bedroom. These are just maybe a couple of guest bedrooms in here. Wardrobes. Another tub that will cause you to strip. I love it. I'm guessing that's maybe the master bedroom through there. Oh, okay, so this must be, I'm just gonna guess and say, this is the hatch from up above, right? And it is, okay, see? That's cool. Okay, we all know what's down to that. Like, no way out. Okay. Is it snowing? Okay. This is, I'm wearing something different, right? There we go. And as always, we have some exceedingly gorgeous views, and what's great is because it can move, we're going to have different kinds of views from this home. All gorgeous and a beautiful, beautiful sight to see solitude up there. Okay, so let's proceed. Oh, the guy told me, uh, the one who created uh, RAS, um, said something about visual effects. Raining subtle, okay off wetness is off okay I don't know wow okay so I'm guessing these are gonna look the same yeah okay you see so we have a look at that this would be the same so this is where the followers can stay in how spectacular is that, that everyone gets their own little bath. So what is this one going to look like? Wow, this has got to be the master bedroom. Wow. I have to say, I absolutely love the pirate music. Uh, the little sea shanty, right? So we have a couple of uh, bookcases on that side and another two on this side. Uh, lovely... Uh, Pirate treasure chest right here. The bed, it's a canopy bed. Nice. And here is my bath. It's slightly bigger than the other ones, which is great. 
Emperor's robe. What is this? This, uh, just a thing to meditate. Love that. Okay, a wardrobe here and there. Okay. And we yet have even more to explore down here, the lower decks. This is better than the interior of any pirate ship that you've seen in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I mean, I've seen it look kind of nice, like where uh, Balbosa was, uh, how he's living, uh, like living in luxury. But I still think this looks more well kept, and it's nicer, and it's the interior is far nicer in here uh, than in the Black Pearl. A hook ship does look kind of fancy in there, right? And doesn't he have like uh, an organ in there? Wow, I love it down here. A little bar. Mm. More places for followers. So up there might be like, oh, is this maybe for your adopted children? Okay, this is for multiple adoption, if you have that, which I do have. Oh, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. See, and it's mirrored on this side. And here's the jail cell she's talking about. So if uh, one of your men get out of line or you can just pretend that maybe you, you're taking prisoners. And there's a jail key. Oh, are these like torture devices? Oh, yeah, they're torture devices. Look at that. Ouch. And the rack. Uh, this rack was used in Barbarian Queen starring Lana Clarkson. Whom uh, Lana Clarkson, you, you guys may not know, it might be before a lot of your guys' time, uh, was killed, uh, murdered by Phil Spector. But yeah, she was being stretched on a rack. Much like that. Okay, some extra storage here. And there we have it, guys. Let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, oh, did I go back here? I don't think I did. Yeah, okay, the cooking area. Yeah, makes sense. Behind the bar. How lovely. How lovely indeed. Okay, let's see how it looks. Um... You know, from different locations. This would be more for uh, admiring the beauty of uh, the different locations where the ship can go. And um, so, Solitude, we're there now. We'll go to Windhelm. Since I didn't unlock uh, Solstein yet, because I, I like to role play it and I'm, I go a little slow when I role play. Um, I can't go to anywhere in Selstein, but that would be very, very interesting to check out and I'll probably do an update of that. Oh, look, she's gotten in cold. Oh, yes. Okay, look where we are. Oh, God, this is right here. Oh. See how this, was this like this before? I think this didn't appear when I was in, uh, when this was uh, parked outside of Solitude, right? That could be a conflict maybe with the kinky princess, but it doesn't matter, it's so minor. It's nothing at all. This is, 
I love that. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out another location. Okay, we'll check out Dawnstar. And then I'm going to go ahead and eat some oxtail. Dawnstar. How great. <laughs> this is like a house in like many cities. Like all these places that it can go to is like having a house in that location. What? Is something about to attack? Not sure. You know, Santa's workshop is around here. Or it was, but I took off the, uh, you know, I have that after Saturalia uh, mod, so it's probably not there anymore. Santa's workshop only appears maybe, uh, of course, you know, once a year, right? What? What is that? What is that? Oh, is that like another ship it's kind of clipping with? Oh god, it's a dragon. Let's see how that looks like with that ship. Oh god. That's okay. That's okay. What? What is that ship? Why is it... Is that maybe probably a mod that put that ship there? Okay, so I love this. I love how, uh, you know, because Donstar isn't really a, a major city. You know, it's, it's, doesn't, you know, it's not a, a city behind walls. It's like Morthal and like Iverstead, you know, and uh, Rorikstead. So, um, uh, and I guess even uh, Winterhold, it doesn't have any walls. But, um, so it's really nice to have a home here. Oh, what was that? It was like I was flapping my wings or something. Okay, so now we'll just go out to the wilderness and see what this is about. Where in the wilderness is this? I love how I'm able to kind of fast travel, right, even when in danger. Because, oh, look at this. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So it's just out a bit more north of Donstar. Oh, this is great. This is like, um, you could pretend when it's like in this place here in the wilderness uh, it's like oh oh it still sinks but that's okay it's like um, we could pretend this is like when you're traveling still like you're going en route to somewhere you know you haven't arrived there yet and then you can pick your destination and, and you're there Wow this is freedom Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a billion times, Dovakinathe, for creating such a beautiful, unique, and exceptionally versatile uh, home. Wow, this is really something. And I love all the views from here. Um, okay, I was wondering if we were able to go like on top of that you know how sometimes you have a uh, like a sailor go up here like a pirate you know but I guess not and, and they sit on the or sit in a, that bucket up there the lookout that would be kind of neat but of course not necessary okay so let's just head back to solitude and then I'm gonna end it and I'm gonna eat my delicious oxtail. Again, guys, uh, this is Sea Dragon, a uh, pirate ship house mod created by the very lovely, very talented Dovakinate. Uh, thank you so much again. And um, you know, I just can't thank you enough. Okay, yeah, yeah, it looked, it looked the same. Okay, it looked like that. It's just, I guess you just kind of flip through it here at this point. Okay, so that's normal. Okay, so this, this, this stair was like already there. Look at that, we have some people about to head up to that strip joint. Yeah, there's some strippers there in the pool. Anyways, we're gonna end it here and 
thank you again so much everyone for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed this most of all the vikinete um and i'll see you on the next one